What is up guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another very quick hardware tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to power on, eject and sync the Xbox One console without the faceplate attached. You may be wanting to do this if you've accidentally ripped the ribbon cable that, uh, that links the RF board to the touch buttons. Um, a lot of people end up doing that when they first open up the console, they don't realise there's a ribbon cable attaching uh, the console to the faceplate and they just rip the faceplate off and it tears the the ribbon cable and that stops your touch buttons from working of course or maybe you're just opening it up to repair it and you don't want to put the faceplate back on to turn the console on to test it so I've done a tutorial on the 360 as well which I'll link in the description but for the Xbox One what you want to do is get a pair of tweezers or a pen or a screw or something like that and right here where we've got this plug where the ribbon cable actually plugs in You've got these little metal points sticking out at the back. So to eject the disc tray, what you want to do is put the tweezer in between the one on the top left next to the 7. And you want to put the tweezers in between that and the one next to it on the right. So you do that. And you may have to do it a few times for it to eject, but it will eventually eject your disc. And to sync the console, what you have to do is get your tweezers in between J3, so the point that's next to this J3 in the middle. And again, you just want to put the tweezers in between that and the one next to it on the right. So it would be down here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's making a little sync noise. So obviously you just hold down the sync button on your controller until it starts flashing and then just put the tweezers in between like that and it will sync your controller and for powering on the console and powering off the console this one's a bit sketchy because when I do it it often does the disc tray eject at the same time but um, it works anyway so if you go all the way to the right uh, and this last point on the right here if you put your tweezers on in between that and the one next to it it will turn it off as you could hear there also did the disc eject but um, you can see the LEDs flashing and it is turning off and you do the same thing again to turn it on so that's it that is really quick video on how you do that um, it can be handy I know it's not a very interesting video but it can be very useful if you have damaged that ribbon cable on your console even if it's so you can just initially sync a controller so that you're able to um, turn turn the console on from the controller from now on. So anyway, that's how you do it. I've also got a link to how you do that on the 360 in the link to the video description. And I'll also have linked in the video description guides on how to open up the Xbox One console and how to change the LED on the console for a different colored LED. So if you liked the video or you found this information useful, go ahead and leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.